the mid-realm. King Wigthane, Draco incarnate, and Queen Nyasa, Valkyrie's fire. Rise and ruminate on their royalness. <laughs> And now, Your Majesties, invite the assembled barons and baronesses of the Middle Kingdom to attend them in court. Thank you, Your Majesty, for attending today. Please have your seat. Here you are, the the court of the Majesties, Wigfin and Nayasa of the Middle Kingdom. Savior, I understand that you have volunteered to make sure that the children have gifts from us, from the people of the mid -room. Can you please? Yeah, please. Let's start. <laughs> in there, I said walking. and we'll give you five seconds to chase him down and get your largesse. Five, four, three, two, one, go, get him. <laughs> Thomas and Anne of Sternfeld. Their Excellencies call forward Forrester Elbrick. We will grant you six minutes. Thank you. Good evening. I want to thank everyone for coming out to Better Boards for Archery. This has been my favorite event since the beginning of my SBA career. Um, we had a number of volunteers that came out and assisted today, so I want to thank all of our volunteers and all of our participants. We had more than 50 volunteers that assisted to make this possible. With that, <laughs> with that, I made two items, well, I made one item and another item was kindly uh, donated to by the Honorable Lady Elaine Ladd. And so I would like to gift two of our volunteers, so I basically threw everyone that signed up in a random number generator and picked out some winners. Uh, to give them a prize. So the first prize is a stained glass lantern that I made. Wow. Uh, this was won by a uh, maid of Minnesota. This one went to our Feast of Craft Biggie. Champion thus expires. So 
Thank you very much for the chance. I'd like to call forward the replacement. And I actually want you to announce. Robert the Perilous! We have a very service-oriented journey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ours is welcome to Sternfield. What's your allergy? <laughs> champion this upcoming year. Wait, <laughs> so, just a note, you're expected to be a pencil. Oh. But we would very much like you to step forward for this next year. Yeah, I'm I know that you are also in the kitchen, and we don't want to take you away from preparing the food. Uh, very much, we would like, because of the length of the report, for our guards to rotate and <coughs> each other off the backside here. That takes the stand a little bit. So, if you get a chance, go to Thank you for that. For our new baronial champion, huzzah! huzzah! Crossbow. 
Oh, the ringer is yet to come. <laughs> Turned on. <coughs> Lord Draco Redbeard.
seen this work personally as we've come out to this barony. Uh, and we've seen this work personally as we've come out here multiple times. Um, the, the service and effort that you've been doing is phenomenal. Thank you very much for all you've done. For Lady Ugly, myself! <laughs> training when he saw the need for a new group, group marshal. He constantly helps others with armor repairs, using his welding skills, and always seeks out other ways to assist. Do therefore wish to confer upon them an award of arms. So again, you're another one. Every time that we come out to Sternville, we see you out here working. To hear that you're doing service on repairing armor, welding, that is a skill I wish I could have. Becoming an MIT. Becoming an MIT, which is close to my heart, for sure. So thank you very much for all the work and service you do. Congratulations. Congratulations. For Lord Rockets! Huzzah! Huzzah! Sure. 
And so he finds them opportunities that are less scary and provides encouragement gently, without pushing, to help them come out of their shell. And he sees royals or barons or events that want to have a bardic presence, and he gathers his whole cohort and he makes it happen. And he does all of this quietly, he doesn't jump up and demand attention, he doesn't want to take credit for all of the people and things that he's helped along the way, he just wants to see them thrive. This is the behavior of a most noble man, and I commend him to you most highly. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, Your Excellency. Is there a member of the chivalry who will attest to Curian's courtesy and chivalry? There is, Your Majesty. <coughs> wish to come up here? I think I could be heard from here. <laughs> I hope so. I'm Cal William of Fairhaven, member of your Order of the Chivalry. Another word, other words for chivalry are civility, politeness, gallantry, courtesy. In the near four decades that I have known this man, he has ever been the protector, the nurturer, and the leader of bardic arts not just in our kingdom, but in other kingdoms. He has spent his time quietly protecting and preserving the legacy of bardic arts across the known world for all of us. He is the chevalier of the bardic arts, and he is one of my oldest and dearest friends, and it is my honor to commend him to you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a companion? of the Order of the Laurel that will attest to the skills and the arts and sciences. I am the Lorex. I speak for the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I am Maestro Lucia Elena Braganza, and I speak for the Order of the Laurel. The Bardic arts are one of the arts that cross both worlds of art and service. Once a piece has been composed, it can be used to praise, to honor, to celebrate, to inspire, to gather people together, to remember, to record our history. It's not uncommon these days for people to take videos of performances, courts, battle, tournaments, classes. I have several videos on my own phone. However, they're stuck there. <laughs> Kyrian goes the extra tedious mile to, um, of editing, cataloging, labeling and sharing, making it available to the whole mid-realm, the whole SCA, the whole world. His YouTube channel is shorthand for, hey, look at we do, look at what we do. <laughs> he has made an art of sharing the art of all of us. He has also made it a mission to capture the works of performers, great and small, so that as our cadre inevitably ages and sails into the West, they are not completely lost. Katrina Pilgrim, El Asselswinder. Kyrian may not be able to save lives, but he certainly preserves them. That which is remembered lives. This is service. This is worth. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a member of the Order of the Pelican who can attest to carry in service? I am Your Majesty. Would you like to come up here or are you good? him to join this order of doers. Look at the people in front of this dais. They are the folks who run the society. They are the workhorses of the SCA. Humility is not what Inchinghams do best. <laughs> and I was humbled 
to be asked to join this order nearly a quarter of a century ago. And today I am proud to welcome my friend, Master Kirian, into our ranks. Hi, I'm over in the populist section. <laughs> I'm the one that does not count towards the six minutes. <laughs> so I'm Mihila Stormbringer, a humble bard. <laughs> um, Kieran, you're sitting down. Stay sitting because I'm going to say nice things about you. And I know I promised that I would never do that unless I was dying. <laughs> I thought that this was a worthy thing. is ephemeral. We complain and complain about the things that we would love to have and know about, but we don't have the extant sources. Bards capture the ephemeral in their words, their stories, their songs. And yes, a performance in and of itself is the most ephemeral thing. Kyrian Cantor has, as everyone said, captured not just the works of the bards, but fights, elevations, courts, misdeeds. <laughs> <laughs> he has 3,200 plus videos on his YouTube page. He has also created a website that contains links to Bard's songs, to our classes, to a search engine that not just searches his site, but Town Song and several out of print SK songbooks. This man has preserved history from the very beginning of the SCS. But that is not just why he is worthy. Kyrian is my lord. He has long been like an older brother, a pain in my side, <laughs> and yet beloved. He has been a mentor. He has been a person who teaches us how to be chosen family. He has outstretched and included my belt siblings, my students, into a family that I longed to have. He has made my life easier, not just as a bard, but as a seneschal. He didn't know this, but with all his works, this makes my life easier. I can send people to this. It's wonderful. But he has made my life easier he has made my life richer. He has made my life incredible. He has taught me that it is better to apologize than to ask permission. <laughs> <laughs> and he has taught me that shenanigans are best done behind the scenes so that others get blamed for it. <laughs> I have nothing but love in my heart for Kyrian. He knows this, although I tease him to death about it. Your Majesties, I cannot think of anyone better than to put feathers on. <laughs> I commend him to you, my dear Laurel, and now... Thank you. Right mindful of your service to the society and responsive to the wishes of your peers, we are resolved to create you master of the poet. Which creature will nourish her young when necessary with the blood of her own breath, and therefore has been chosen as the most appropriate symbol of service to our society. Therefore, will you, Kyrian, give us your word to continue to fulfill the requirements set forth to the governance of this order as you must surely have till now? I will. Will you increase your labors nobly, 
Increase your talents as it befits one of your rank and seek to disseminate your talents and abilities throughout the society. I will. Do you promise to train any dependents you may have to serve as you have served? I will. What we need now are the, medall the medallions. <coughs> there are three, Your Majesty. <laughs> One, two, three. How many seem to know in the middle of it? I'm actually down into Harrison. Where's the third one? <laughs> This medallion was commissioned by <coughs> Mistress Lorelei Sky and created by soon to be Master Gregory Bryan. Then take from our hands the symbol of nobility and token of our esteem. We are proudly that all may recognize your service as we have acknowledged it this day. Is there a cloak? There is a stunt cloak. <laughs> cloak is being constructed by Mistress Lorelei Sky. This one belongs to my lady, Mistress Mari Inyan Dai. You gonna read? Kyrian, wear this cloak as an outward token of your new station. Is there a cap? There is a stunt cap of me. <laughs> The new one is being constructed by Mistress Margaret Melise. This one belongs to my lady wife, Mistress Mari Indian <laughs> Wear this cap of maintenance as a symbol of your service. Carrie, are you prepared to swear fealty? I am. I here swear fealty and do homage to the crown of the Middle Kingdom, to serve the crown in all things, to remember courtesy and kindness, to prize justice above personal gain, to labor for the common good, to enrich the kingdom and the society so they may flourish and grow and to be worthy of the title Pelican. Hereby my honor, my hand, and my heart swear I, Tyrion Cantor. This do we hear and shall never forget, nor fail to reward that which is given, fealty with love, service with honor, and oath-breaking with justice. So, Master Tyrion, You've requested to be done. So. In remembrance of oaths given and received, in remembrance of your lineage and obligation, be thou a good pelican. Rise, Master Curie. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro, we present to you the newest member of the Pelican, Master Carrion! Majesty of the Mid Realm, 
make our will known on this 23rd day of March, Honor Societatus 58. Congratulations. Please take him away, but keep it quiet. We've got some more business. We might need you back. <laughs> I would say baby. and I, when we ascended to the throne, we looked at our own children and we saw what they were doing. We looked at the children of our barony, we looked at the children of our kingdom, and we saw... We also heard the cry of the parents. <laughs> <laughs> that there is so much the children are doing and not being recognized for. Please do something to change that. And we have decided and worked diligently with staff to create a recognition for the youth of this kingdom. Proclaim unto all that we, Wig Fang, king by right of arms of the Middle Kingdom, and Naesa, our valiant queen, would fain honor Kraken Ark's daughter for her superior skill in archery within the archer's core of the Middle Kingdom. Therefore, we are minded to present upon her the award of the Dragon's Dart, oh, making her the premier recipient. The Mid-Realm has not created a <coughs> in over 20 years. Wow. wow. We looked at the awards that we give out today, and we realized that for the youth of our kingdom, we did have an award that recognized what we recognized for the adults with archery and thrown weapons. So we scoured through the database, we looked through everyone that we could think of, and crack it, you were the first one. We also asked for recommendations. Yeah, we asked for recommendations. <laughs> so, and crack it, by evidence today, you winning the, the tournament for the children, you 
make the most sense to be the premier of this. You exemplify everything that we wish this award would do. You are a perfect premier. You are now first to receive a new award in 20 years as well. <laughs> So we needed to at least make sure that you were rewarded for all this work that you've done, somehow at least. And so we can only just start with the Purple Friend. Dad, we, we got your whole family today. <laughs> <laughs> Boys game. That's uh, true. Boys game. So thank you very much for your service, your, your grace. We greatly appreciate it. down here. Yes. Absolutely. All right. Your Majesties, we would like Let's to beg a boon. If it is the right and proper thing, it shall be yours. We ask yes. that you elevate, elevate Dame Rowana Aldana to the Order, Order of, of the, the Laurel. Call forth the candidate. Master Rowana Aldana, present yourself before their Majesties. Rowana Intrepidus, all speaks her plain. She offers the truth, e'en when she stands not to gain. Her books are all given. She proffers the best. To recognize excellence, she never will rest. She carries her art to all those who would listen, expanding our knowledge, her drive, and her mission. For learners and experts, she displays her command. And over the years, her skill and work fame expand. Rowana Adamante stands athwart the path. All who cause injustice, the focus of her wrath. To be silent or forswear, there she cannot wait. When she spies wrongdoing, she stoops in like a hawk. Thus she marches proudly, the populace uplift. Her cry a call to action, all here to enlist. See her shield the needy, a bulwark for the frail. Just the beating of her heart, thus she will prevail. Rowana Indomita, she continues on. Her will a high plaza, where all sing antiphon. A place to celebrate the sciences and arts, tapestry diverse, a college of many parts. Still bookbinder of people, we still are the leaves. She still sets to signatures, and we still believe. To her land and her friends, she will always commit. In the language of old, said Heracerovit. So, good. 
Good masters, do you have any final business before your apprentice is elevated? I request to have her bill back. Oh, I'll, I'll bring it. Or do you want to come up or do you want me to bring it? I can come up. All right. I'll sure, my skirts. I can make it. She shares it 
participates. She gives it away, and it doesn't matter if you're a duke, a king, or the very first time you've ever been to an event. You're here. You're part of something. You're sharing. That is the backbone of our service in this society. It is what she is. She understands that. And all of you have the ability to continue that, to make this great society we're part of something important by the simple service of being here and sharing your dream. She did that, and now she is looking at her second period because she has shared not only all of her service time, but all of that art, all of that heart, and all of that research. Thank you, Your Excellency. Is there a member of the Order of Defense who will speak for Ruana's courage and honor? There is, Your Majesty. My name is Baron Adam Coleman, and I have the honor to talk about something that many rapier fighters struggle to pronounce, uh, which is spritzatura. It is the art of making hard things look easy. The most amazing thing that I have seen Ruana do is share when she fails. A artist, a master artisan, you can tell who that person is by the fact that they talk about the things that didn't quite work right. Like the first time she tried to dye that leather. <laughs> she shared that not with just her close friends, not just with the people who might also be interested in that craft, but with the known world. Here is a thing I am doing. Here is a thing and how it might go wrong. And then here is how it will be better next time. That is no mean feat for anybody. And she did that plainly, simply, confidently. She is clearly a person who deserves to be recognized as a laurel. And I thank you for doing so. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Someone, our most loyal companion of the Order of the Laurel. Companions of the Laurel, present yourselves before their majesties. But stay on the floor. <laughs> Noble lords and ladies, is it your opinion that Rwanda is worthy of elevation into the Order of the Laurel? Aye! Rwanda, right mindful of your service to the society, and responsive to the wishes of your peers. We are resolved to create you a companion of the world. As the laurel wreath has ever stood for excellence, so do we give it to you as the symbol of the mastery of your art. Therefore, we you, Romano, give us your word to continue to fulfill the requirements set for, for the governance of this order as you must surely have till now. I want you. Will you increase your labors nobly, increase your talents as befits one of your rank? and seek to disseminate your talents and ability throughout the society. I will. Do you promise to train any dependents you may have to do likewise? I will. Is there a medallion? There is, Your Majesties. hands these symbols of nobility and token of our esteem. Wear them proudly so you so all may recognize your service as we have acknowledged on this day. They Excellence. 
Now swear your oath to the field of the crown. I to heat the gera, the game, and resin, to the corona of the Israels, to sustain and always the corona, with my craft and my kununga, promoting all wisdom and seance, to teach all, all my estudiantes, to wax them and exalt the glory of the middle realm. And be dignity of my rank, I, Rowana, be here to hear it. We are hearing thine oath. Uh, and will it forget or not? Uh, we will it reward and I, thine and the gale, with our and the bull, thine and the with our honesty. With our Jubisa. With our Jubisa. We be hot. People of the generals, we present Master Rowana. All in our newest companion of the Laurel.
So, we went to, what was it, Maidens? Yes, we were there. We were at Festival Maidens. Yeah, we were there. We gave out awards, we had a summons. Mm -hmm. Someone skipped at me for that event. I was rather not happy about that. But so, that person's here today. That person's recording right now. <laughs> I serve my sovereigns. Uh, Please, come here. Yeah, that part. For the record, I was at Maidens. <laughs> they were going to do this at TLA. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, TLA. <laughs> yeah, skip the song and talk. We know that we, Wing Fei, and the Asa, right monarchs of the Middle Kingdom, do give Gilcrest Monaghan our purple fret. Woo! <laughs> Justice on the fly here. So, if any of you have seen what goes on to YouTube, the recordings that we have, obviously, Master Carrie is a pelican for this. The, the amount of work that goes into that is phenomenal. Another person who is doing that work too. Is Gilchrist here? Renegade Paladin. Renegade Paladin on YouTube. <laughs> As a fighter, I have been able to go and see his videos. I've been able to watch my performance in tournaments. I've been able to watch my performance in a number of different things. I've been able to go and study fencing, rapier fighting. There is Gilchrist, you have been putting so much content out there that not only have people in the kingdom recognize this work. But Her Majesty meets with people from across the known world to view videos every Tuesday night. And you're one of the people that were constantly looking for videos to see what's going on in the different kingdoms within the mid -realm. Other kingdoms are looking for your videos. So, calling an audible. Dragon part of this. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh.
Was it out there? I'll go look for it. No. no, 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 I'm going out there now. <laughs> don't sit, 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 sit. Don't get off. <laughs> I don't see anything out here. Oh, I see what you're forgetting. I see it out. Got to come here. Oh, you see it now? Yeah. Okay. All right. We, we see it now. We know what we're doing. Please sit. Please sit. Your Majesty. Don't, don't start with me. <laughs> do, do, you want me to, do you want me to say something here? I feel it's my turn. Is it your turn? It's my turn. It is my turn. <laughs> I'm going to do it. <laughs> Ryan Comedy! Fine! On the floor! So I think we see what's, yeah. what we were missing. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> this is a great group of people. A bunch of fierce and noble warriors. No, I'm just bad you're right about it. But we're missing. Yeah, no, you're right. So, you, what do you think we should do? I think, I mean, we should probably fix the problem. Let's fix it. I mean, there's like, there, how could this have gone for so long? I don't know, but let's do it. Let's just do it now. Thank you, Your Excellency. I'm trying to keep that within six minutes. 
The shepherding hands of a regional chatelaine. The gentle hands of a father, husband, and friend. The cordial hands crafting tasty beverages. The strong hands leading set up and tear down. The eager hands welcoming in neighbors and newcomers. The ready hands volunteering wherever needed. Let us now raise our hands to honor and celebrate all these hands. They have served well. They will serve evermore. Thank you. So, noble lords and ladies, is it your opinion that Gregory Bryant is worthy to be elevated <laughs> to the Order of the Pelican? Aye! Is there a royal peer to speak on Gregory's nobility? Majesties, you might be tired of hearing from me today. No, nope. <laughs> please. It doesn't sound like a possible thing. <laughs> but I would be honored to speak for Gregory. Your Majesties? Good populace of the Middle Realm? I would speak. To Gregory's grace. And I'd start off with that and then say that he gave me the most candid filled moment <laughs> of a quick decision that I had during our reign. You see, I knew that Gregory had earned a bronze ring, and I had set up a court following the Red Bell of Country. And I had arranged for Gregory's family to be there to see it. And then midway through the hour and a half long red battle, Gregory broke his thumb. <laughs> so here I am. My God, you can't let him leave. He's got a broken thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Gregory, let me, let me take your weapons for you. Let me just go under those. But I need you to stay here. <laughs>
okay, we're in surf, but we can't count. My Thank you, Your Grace. Thank you, Your Grace. They're a member of the chivalry. Who will attest? Yes, Your Majesty. Oh, you again. <laughs> but accustomed as I am at speaking at these affairs, I am honored to speak for Gregory today. Prowess is synonymous with competency, something that is very important. Be good at a thing. Gregory is good at so many things, I lost count trying to write them down. <laughs> many people here have worn and are wearing his art for everyone to see. Many fencers he has trained for your army. Many lists he has marshaled. If I was to attempt to speak on all of the service he has done, we would be here a long time, and I understand we only have six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> captain, my captain. <laughs> Gregory does all of these things, and he does them quietly, competently, and without drama. He is a loyal servant of the crown, who can be counted on to just get it done and not add to the quotient of chaos, which I think personally is pretty important. And I think that the love all shown here and the words say it all more eloquently than I ever could. But I appreciate this man, and I am looking forward to his counsel in this order. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Is there a member of the Order of the Laurel who can attest to Gregory's arts and science? Have it be me. May I stand up? Yes. Absolutely. My voice has never heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Master Jean Paul Pierpont, companion of the Oral. Laurel? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of travel does to you, the end of the Pelican and a bunch of other suits. Most of you know me, I'm a fair joker, but I'll get serious for a few moments. Knowing Gregory like I do, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> Pelican, is it an art or is it a science? Think about it. You're doing art and it's already been expressed. What has been touched in the art field? But even that is a science to touch the souls of everybody who serves. Interesting. You never think about it. When you look around, Gregory's doing this. <coughs> even in my shop. I gotta go. You gotta look. We got a uh, radio thing going on. Gone. Comes back, wore up. Yes. What, what, what can I make for you? What can I do for you? It's an art and a science. I get to see all the sides of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Making a swerve now. <laughs> so, I had 120 pages of notes, but my dog ate them. <laughs> and it would went past six minutes. <laughs> There's people more eloquent. Mine is from the soul. And that's what a pelican is. It is the soul. Yes, yay. I'm one of the few that's got to travel ten kingdoms. And I've got to see many kingdoms. And many workers. And many populace give their heart and soul to the society. Your Majesty. Got one sitting right there. Thank you very much. Is there a companion of the Pelican who will attest to Gregory's service? Yes, Your Majesty, there is. Yes, please. Please. Yeah. I am Corporal McGillivray, Master of the Pelican. I have known Gregory just short of three decades. When I met him, he was working. He was on the field, uh, 
and he was the uh, marshal of the list. And as we got to know each other, he became a good friend. And he continued to do work every time I saw him. He was marshaling. He was a group officer, switching them out here and there as needed. Uh, he was also one of the first people to jump up when somebody needed something carry, or something needed setting up, or tearing down, or clean. As time went by, his jobs got bigger and bigger. He started doing uh, merchant liaison a lot. He was autocrat. Anything that needed to be done, Gregory was willing to stand up and do it. And he was still the first one to jump up and pick something up, or set something up, or tear it down. And now, he's got to get here on time, <laughs> because he's got curia meetings. <laughs> I have known Gregory a long time, and he is my peer, and I commend him to you. Thank you very much. Is there a master of defense who will attest to Gregory's courage and honor? Reading glasses. <laughs> Greg? Greetings, Your Majesty. The Temple Dignitary and the Noble Sacrament of the Middle Kingdom. Uh, my name is Kai Tseng, and I'm a Master of Defense. As a, my friend Adam said, you know, one of the things that we strive for in the Order of Defense is this air of study carelessness, right? We make hard things look easy. And <clears throat> while we, many of us have had the opportunity to swear that we will serve for a certain life, Greg, you've taken this to another level entirely. Over the years that I've been, had the privilege of calling you my friend, I have known you to be a vigilant marshal, a frequent behind-the-scenes presence, whose work and leadership has made multiple events go smoothly, and above all, a kind soul who is always there for people who, no matter what they may need. And any of these qualities it stands in testament to your character. But I want to talk about something else. Uh, one of the most important things that I believe we can do as peers is to serve as ambassadors of the society to the populace. And most importantly, to the populace to be. The people who are sitting there on the outside wondering, is this dream something that I can share? And no matter where we come from, this is something that we all have to do. Because without new blood, without new passion, <coughs> we wither away and die. And when I became a master of defense, I wanted to show the society that there's a place where our actions can speak for us and that we can all be recognized for what we do and who we are when we bring our entire selves to society. And I asked you to make this with God. Because I wanted, it, I wanted to show that kid who's sitting out there wondering, is this a place for me? Am I safe here? Is this my home? That yes, yes it can be. And we are here to make that happen. Great. You have made these for me, you made them for my husband and so many other people, so that we can show the world that what the dream should be like. And that the SCA is a place where everyone is welcome, no matter who they are and where they have come from. And for that alone, and love about everything else, you are with you. And your majesties, I have a lot of other stuff to say, but six minutes now. <laughs> service to society and the responses and wishes of your peers, we are resolved to create you a master of the pelican, which creature will nourish her young when necessary with the blood from her own breast and therefore has been chosen to be the most appropriate symbol of service to our society. Therefore will you, Gregory, give us your words to continue to fulfill the requirements set forth for the governance of this order as you most, uh, most surely have till now. Will you increase your labors nobili nobly, increase your talents as benefits one of your rank, and seek to disseminate your talents and abilities throughout the society? 
You were always a train any dependence you may have to serve as you first serve. I will. Medallion. Is there a medallion? Take from this, from her hand, this symbol of your nobility and token of our esteem. Wear it proudly that, it may, uh, that all may recognize your service as we have acknowledged this day. What is it? May I? Please go ahead. Take it for six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. The lineage of the ancient and honorable constellation Pelican Medallion. In the ancient days, the Middle Kingdom was gifted with large brass pelican medallions whose origins are shrouded in mystery. <laughs> Although this medallion was not given to the first constellation pelican, it was first given to the illustrious Duke Moonlow and can trace its lineage through constellation pelicans of great fame. Mistress Thorhalla, out of deep respect for Master Sigolf, whom she passed the medallion to, had the ancient medallion blessed at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. Here's the lineage as we have it. Moonwolf, Garrett, John, Takaya, Kirsten, Ehrenwald, Thorhalla, Sigel, Kenna, Kaelin, Magdalena, and then unfortunately lost for an age, but returned to the hands of Maggie, Hadley, Fergus, Odette, Sarah, Elaine, Helenor, Akalon, and now Gregory Bryan. Is there a cat? There is, Your Majesty's. Gregory, wear this cap of maintenance as a symbol of your service. Here's where people can do homage. The crown of the Middle Kingdom. Serve the crown in all things. Remember mercy and kindness. To prize justice above personal gain. To labor for the common good, to, to enrich, enrich the kingdom and society, so they can flourish and grow, and to be worthy of the title of pelican. Here, here by my honor and heart, swear I, Gregory Bryan. This do we hear, and shall never forget, nor fail to reward that which is given. Guilty with love, service with honor, and overreaching. With justice. Gregory, in remembrance of your liege. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just did this. Sorry. In remembrance of oaths previously given and received, in remembrance of your lineage and your leash, be thou a good pelican. Rise.
For many years, Gregory has generously given his love and labor to the kingdom. Services he has provided are not easy tasks, such as serving as chatelaine for region and kingdom, rapier marshalling, merchant liaison and director, royal staff, royal retaining, arts and sciences judge, diverse teacher. He has produced largesse, tokens, representations of order and offices, and even worked on the Pensick Fort repair. Most of all, we wish to acknowledge Gregory's enthusiasm to volunteer, and does not waver in his courtesy to any, no matter how high or humble. With these labors, we do create and advance him to the most noble title and degree of Master of the Order of the Pelican, to be in all places of honor numbered a peer of our realm, with all rights and responsibilities.